parents, if you're out there, here is a quick tip to help your child write their first resume. So I have a high school student, new to high school this year, and we sat down together to try and figure out how to write her resume. Now, let's be honest, I'm an executive resume writer, so I have been dreaming about this moment for quite some time. Um, so I've done a little bit of back, background work to put together some ideas of things we might include in her resume. That's something that you can be doing now if your student is a little bit younger. So uh, I use the color approach. I take highlighters and I take a look at the different job posters and use the color to then identify the things that uh, need to be into their resume. So uh, the way that I use the system is I use yellow for keywords in the job poster. I use green for anything the student is not, does, like doesn't have, it's a skill or um, experience they don't have yet. We'll talk about that more in just a second. And then I use purple to identify the things the employer, purple, pink, to identify the things the employer is looking for that are really the decision makers. So if you don't have this, we will decide not to hire you. Okay, so then once you've got those words broken out, you're able to sit down with your student and figure out how many of those qualifications they have for the particular job poster. Remember I said about the green one, they're missing some of these skills or these abilities. So what I want you to do next is take a look at the green section and figure out if you can't match somehow some elements of the things that might be missing. So they might not have experience in, I don't know, in customer service, but they did some volunteer work with their Boy Scout or Girl Scout uh, troop where they were demonstrating leadership uh, to some of the younger folks. Things like that. That's what you're looking for. Something that will make up the gap or fill the gap um, of the missing piece of experience or education or requirement. Anyway, those are a couple of really quick, easy tips to get you started with writing your student's first resume. The first one is tough. And especially if you don't like writing your own resume, this is going to be a little time consuming. But the tip here is to start doing the prep work now so it's not so overwhelming when your student needs to write a resume either to get into some sort of university program or get some serious job that they want. Um, now is the time to be trying to figure out how to do it right, how to do it well, so that you've positioned your student well in the market when the time comes.